Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for September 10th, 2020. Um, these readings are time stamped, so you can find the time stamps in the description box below and in the comments section below. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 10th. For those of you who are new, I do have a Cancerian only channel. Um, the link is below. It's Cancer Baby Tarot. Cross watchers are welcome. So if you'd like to join the Cancer Baby family, um, the information is below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. I do a huge giveaway every week. That information is also below. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. September 10th. So we've got date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan, and set a date. So Cancer, maybe we have uh, someone new in the picture. Maybe you've already met this person, or maybe it's someone completely new, but we have have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, or meeting. So you may meet someone, you may just go out on a date, you know, or maybe you have just recently met someone, and um, <laughs> you may be surprised because you may be falling in love with this person very quickly, or they're falling in love with you very quickly. Let's see messages we have for my cancers we've got express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture and we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together i feel like this is a connection that's going to take off very 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 quickly okay um yeah cancer we've got someone here that is going to if you're coming from a place cancer where you've been with a lot of players that didn't give you the love that you deserve this person is going to work on giving you that love and that respect which is beautiful all right so let's see here Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please, for September 10th, please, Spirit. Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Three of Swords. The King of Cups, more Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Six of Swords. This is interesting. What is happening here? Ace of Wands, the Hermit, and the Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, I feel like, all right, how can I put this? Uh, I feel like you're meeting somebody who is actually involved with somebody else. You may not know this, uh, but they are leaving this person for you, okay? Because see, Cancer, here you're sitting, Queen of Cups with the Three of Swords. I feel like you don't realize that you're the third party here, um, but it's a soulmate connection. See, King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and then we've got the Six of Swords here. So this King of Cups is just swimming in the sea of emotion for this Queen of Cups. This is a true soul tie. This King of Cups is coming towards you, Cancer. But here we have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. We've got someone that's, that's being told the truth, or this Queen of Swords is being cut out okay ace of wands the hermit um the page of swords and the queen of wands you see here someone is finding out a truth here so someone met someone new they're withdrawing because with the page of swords and the queen of wands there's a third party someone here is realizing that they just they're very passionate about this queen of cups so there's that honeymoon card and that six of swords i feel that someone just met you they fell in love with you and they're leaving this queen of swords behind because she's in the past position there so cancer you may may know this you may not know this but you're the person that you're seeing is literally falling in love with you and leaving someone or something behind for you okay they're leaving someone for you holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my cancers please all 12 signs please spirit all 12 signs please holy spirit all right so if we're dealing with another cancer 
If we're dealing with another Cancer, I feel like this person feels a strong soul tie with you, Cancer, but at the same time, it's almost like they're they're giving a lot of love, they're giving a lot of attention, but they don't feel like they're getting it back, like they're just pouring their love into nothing. They feel very alone and, and rejected in the connection. Um, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like this person, um, they... Uh, they they want to win something from you i don't know if it's sex or whatever but there's this sense of ego like they want you to talk to them more and feed their ego a little bit more maybe like compliment them or praise them a little bit more if you're dealing with a Pisces, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this person is stressed the hell out over something. This person maybe doesn't trust you, Cancer, or uh, I don't know, but this person has something going on. You may want to sit down, Cancer, and see what's going on in this person's head because they are losing sleep. Like they are, they are afraid of something. They're having anxiety. Uh, if we're dealing with a Virgo, um, if we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like this person is coming to the realization that they want to move forward with you, or that maybe they need to. To apologize uh, but it took them a really long time to come to this realization so I don't know if it's too little too late if we're dealing with a Capricorn um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn this person is procrastinating they're not wanting to make a decision or choose between you and someone else if we're dealing with a Taurus um, if we're dealing with a Taurus you may live at a distance from this person um, but this person is definitely missing you and has a lot of passion for you they find you very sexually attractive Active. Um, maybe they they like they can't have that sexual relation with you at the moment, but they're yearning for it. Okay. Um, if we're dealing with a an Aquarius, if we're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like um, I feel like this person is making a decision as to what's best for them. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, whatever decision they make, it's always going to be in their favor, Cancer. So just be careful with that. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like this person is tired of being guarded. They're tired of being mad at you. They're tired of not trusting. Um, it's just overwhelming for them. Uh, if we are dealing with a Libra, uh, if we're dealing with a Libra, be careful because this person is maybe lying they are non-committal or this person maybe is um yeah no i feel like if you're dealing with a libra cancer this person is just non-committal they're very irresponsible um yeah this person has some type of toxicity maybe a drug addiction or a sex addiction or something if you're dealing with a leo this person is emotionally disconnected because they have too many options or they're just confused if you're dealing with an aries um, if you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person is coming off as very, um, like very intelligent, very res reserved, conservative type of energy. But with the magician, I feel like this person um, has uh, multiple sides to them. You know what I'm saying? They can be passionate. They make money. They could be loving. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they're, as of right now, they're just coming off as very reserved. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, I feel like either the Sag is going to ghost you or you're going to ghost them. It's relationship over. All right, guys. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 10th. Um, so my loves, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do choose, I, I have a huge giveaway every single uh, week. So the details for that are in the description box below, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please? September 10th, please. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. So Scorpio, either you're trying to run from a connection or you're with someone um, that has a fear of commitment or a fear of intimacy. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please? Pay attention to the red flags. And playfulness. Yeah, see, this person I feel here wants to keep things very light and very airy, Scorpio. This person just wants to have a good time. They just want to, you know, party, live it up a little bit, have a little sexy time and go home. This person is not looking to get intimate or, or have a serious, like super serious type of relationship. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please, for September 10th, please? We have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Seven of Cups. 
I feel like somebody is starting to realize that the other person has too many options or that something that they're saying is an illusion here. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy, and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. See, what's happening here is we have somebody here that maybe... Um, is seeing the truth of the matter that somebody is really confused or somebody here is seeking the truth because something's not adding up. Because we have someone here that with the Knight of Cups is very romantic, very sweet, talker, smooth talker type of energy. But at the end of the day, with the Nine of Pentacles, they're single. In their mind, they're single. See, Three of Cups here, they don't, you know what I'm saying? This person wants to remain independent and the Four of Swords. Um, so this person just kind of wants to relax, party, have a good time, have a one night stand, drink a little bit. You know, this person, they may come off as very romantic. They may. Um, but when it comes down to really laying down something solid, okay, when it comes down to laying down something solid with that three of pentacles with the five of pentacles and the five of swords you'll see them sabotage the connection and maybe disappear and run so you know and i'm saying until things are light and airy and everything's good and it's just a bunch of like you know sweet talk sexy time type of deal that's okay but as soon as things start to get like you know hey are we are you know like as soon as it moves into like a conversation of like having a more solid connection or a more solid foundation this person will sabotage the connection and run because they don't they don't want they have a fear of that intimacy spirit what messages do we have here for my scorpios please for september 10th all 12 signs please so if we're dealing with a cancer if we're dealing with a cancer i feel like um I feel like there's a lot of communication here, a lot of flirting, but with the moon card, it's like, is this really real or not? Does this person really mean what they're saying? So there's a little bit of mistrust here. If we're dealing with a Scorpio such as yourself, I feel like someone here is having anxiety because they don't want to settle down. Someone here wants to just be free to do whatever they want to do. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel that somebody here wants to reconcile. They want a second chance, but the other person is not um, trusting in the situation. If we're dealing with a Virgo, uh, the connection's over. Death card, two of swords, There's this is not coming back together. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like that there's a lot of sexual attraction be between you two. I mean, fire type of attraction. Um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like somebody has a lot of hope for this connection, but they're not really speaking their mind. They're not saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is kind of holding back that excitement a little bit if we're dealing with an Aquarius um, this person is a player big time and it's going to end up causing either a divorce or the end of the connection if we're dealing with <laughs> with a Gemini, um, this person is tired. Uh, if we're dealing with a Gemini, maybe someone here uh, works a lot, okay, or they're tired of working on the connection, um, or maybe they're tired of constantly having their guard up and being defensive. Someone here is just very tired. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, I feel like there's a lot of love between you and a Libra here. Scorpio, I feel like someone's really going to communicate that love to you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot of uh, talk here lovey dovey talk today if we're dealing with a leo um this person is either going to cut you off you're going to cut them off and it's like boundaries are set stubborn nobody's moving here that's just the way it's going to end if we're dealing with an aries be careful this may be a karmic soulmate if we're dealing with a sag if we're dealing with a Sag, it's kind of this energy of, you know what, I've just invested too much in this and it's just going nowhere. It's it's not solid. It's like no matter how much I work on this connection, there's nothing solid about this and it keeps falling. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for... September 10th. So my loves, um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. Um, the details for that are in the description box below. So Pisces, uh, you had two pop out here, so I'm just going to take them. We've got heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. But then we have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting. So Pisces, if you've been heartbroken and like really sad over maybe an ending with somebody, Spirit is telling you have faith because you have love coming in. And it may come in totally by surprise. 
Spirit, what clarity and guidance? Love messages here for my Pisces, please. We've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you ro romance. So, so far, so good, Pisces. <coughs> Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, Pisces, stay optimistic here. So, for those of you who are down and out right now, okay, um, you may still be hoping. You may still be hoping to have another chance with this ex. But I feel like eventually you're going to let go. And you see how there's three people in that picture with getting to know each other? You're going to let go and I feel like you may start to fall in love or be surprised in the fact that you have love coming from a different direction. You have manifested a soulmate so stay optimistic because it is coming Pisces. Spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my Pisces please. September 10th 2020 please spirit September 10th. So we've got the lover's card Gemini energy. The Death card, Scorpionic Energy. The Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. The High Priestess, more Cancer, Pisces Energy. And the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. So... Yeah, I, I feel here, uh, Pisces, that what's happening is we have a situation here where you know with the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords, secrets are out, your intuition is telling you that something's up, so you just can't trust somebody anymore. And that's where the deeply hurt, sad type of situation comes in. You know what I'm saying? You just can't trust someone anymore. And, and when you come to that realization, that's when it really hits you like, wow, this is really over. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm done. Now, on this side here, I feel like we have a soulmate coming in, like a true counterpart, because with the death card, something ends and something new begins, right? So we have this lover's card energy here, which is a perfect counterpart. It's a true soul tie. So I feel like, Pisces, um, you're ending one thing, and you're going to be starting something here with that three of pentacles that is definitely way more solid, way more stable. Um, you know what I'm saying? Something that you can really trust. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here from my Pisces, please? All 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, it's over. Either someone here cheated or there was too much heartache, uh, but it's over. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, um, I feel like someone here is going to withdraw, ghost the other person. That also is over. If we're dealing with a Pisces such as yourself, um, I feel like someone here doesn't know if they want to move forward or not, or someone here is juggling two people and doesn't know who to choose. So all water signs are a no-go. <laughs> if we're dealing with a Virgo, um, if we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like this person wants to take you out and wants to have a good time. Um, I feel like this person really wants to like romance you, woo you, you know what I'm saying? There's a sense of like courtship here, okay? Um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like this person is coming to the realization that they truly want to commit that maybe you're the one. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, this person really wants to put the work into this connection. Um, so, and, and they're being very strategic about about it. They're being, being very intelligent about it. So what that's telling me, Pisces, is that if you're coming from a place where like maybe you've been scorned or you've been hurt in the past, or maybe you've been broken in some way, this person is going to study you like that. They're going to study every little inch of you to make sure that they can show you and prove to you that they are the one. Okay. This person is putting in the work to protect you, to study you, to realize, you know what I'm saying? What hurts you, what doesn't hurt you. So it's very sweet type of energy I'm feeling. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, Pisces. I feel like this person, someone here is obsessed about getting married or they're obsessed about commitment here. Um, yeah, someone here may be obsessed like with, with wanting to get married. I don't know if that's you or them. Um, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like... Um, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like someone here is dealing with two people and it's feeding their ego. So just careful with that. If you're dealing with a Libra, um, if we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like one person is investing in this more than the other. So just pay attention to that. If we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like someone here is just... Um, 
someone's feeling guilty for blocking the other person out, maybe, or for, you know, I don't know, someone here maybe left the other person and they're feeling guilty, or maybe Pisces, somebody here is not talking to you or blocking you out or sabotaging a connection because they're guilty over something. Um, if we're dealing with an Aries, if we're dealing with an Aries, I'm feeling a little bit of an argument blowout today. Somebody here may try to sabotage the connection so that they can leave. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, if we're dealing with a Sag, someone here may end up taking off and leaving and not really telling the person why. So there's a sense of like what just happened. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs uh, for September 10th. Happy birthday to anyone celebrating a birthday today. So, guys, uh, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. Um, you can find the information in the description box below. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please? So we've got coffin endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So Virgo, somebody here may be uh, really like letting somebody go today and uh, realizing that it's time to bring the new in. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, this could also be an indication of... Um, Maybe we're releasing a toxic situation, or this could be that you're ending certain toxic behaviors, or maybe your person is, and then we've got trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So maybe someone here was holding on to a lot of toxicity, like they weren't trusting, they weren't believing, um, you know, or something, something here is happening, like somebody here is leaving something toxic behind and trusting in new beginnings, Okay. So let's see here, spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos, please, spirit. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. Okay. And the justice card. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's karmic justice, guys. Someone here is, might be facing a little bit of karmic justice. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the death card, Scorpionic Energy. The outcome, the two of swords. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. All right, so I see what's happening here, Virgo. Okay, so there's somebody here that was very toxic. Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Um, I love the Nine of Pentacles in this deck. She's so hot, right? Uh, okay, so look, Virgo, here's the deal. Somebody here, it could be you, could be your person. Someone here was very toxic in the past, okay? And I feel like what happens here is that um, somebody here is waking up and saying, okay, I'm going to drop this toxic behavior and I'm going to, uh, you know, change and I'm going to be good and everything's good and I'm going to go back and gain this person's trust. But the problem here is, is we've got karmic justice coming into play because with the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card, somebody here took too long. Someone here just straight up took too too long to drop this this you know whatever this addiction was whatever whatever toxicity was happening someone here took too long to come to the realization that they need to change okay that you know what I'm saying that that's not okay in relationships someone just took too long to realize that during this time that somebody was taking too long this other person has become dependent has become pre-empress you know single They're, they just don't care anymore and I feel that with the two of swords and the hierophant somebody here may even come back and realize that the other person is in a full-blown relationship or married already so be careful with that okay um you know what i'm saying it's like a connection came apart because of somebody's either drug addiction or sex addiction or the need to like you know what i'm saying have multiple options and then someone one day said you know what i'm going to stop being this way and i'm going to go back to so and so and earn their trust again but karmic justice is here and i feel like someone took too long it's over and i feel like they've even moved on to somebody new Spirit, what clarity, guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? All 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, 
if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like somebody is looking back at the past. Like somebody, I feel like if you're dealing with a cancer, you're thinking of an ex that was a cancer or maybe someone from your past and you're realizing how good that relationship was or how victorious it could have been. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe now it's not there anymore. So someone's realizing what they lost type of energy. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like somebody here is confused because they don't know how to overcome the challenges that this connection is facing um, or maybe there's just too many people in the picture if we're dealing with a Pisces this is going to be over due to a third party situation or too much heartache so Virgo if you're dealing with any type of water signs today it's not a good look um, if we're dealing with a Virgo such as yourself, um, I feel like somebody here maybe wants a second chance, but the other person doesn't trust or someone here has made a final decision that, you know, the other person just simply cannot be trusted. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like there's a, a karmic cycle here that's either shutting out or karmic justice is being played here. I mean, look, we've got the justice card and the wheel of fortune, justice card and the wheel of fortune. So maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, guys. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like this is moving quickly, like you're falling in love quickly with this person or this person is falling in love quickly with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, I feel like there's a very strong soul tie between you and the Aquarius Virgo. I feel like um, you may get pregnant with this person quickly or it may quickly move to deeper waters of commitment. If we're dealing with a Gemini, um, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like um, the connection is very traditional and it's there, there's not much emotion in it like someone here maybe is just too um it's too much like girl guy job you know it, it's too it's too like um I don't know what I want to say here. It's just too strict, too rigid. You know what I'm saying? So you guys got to let loose a little bit. If you're dealing with a Libra, if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel that um, if you guys are living at a distance from each other, you guys are just sexually very frustrated and missing each other, obsessed with seeing each other again. Or if you're dealing with a Libra, somebody here is looking for someone different. Like someone here is cheating, looking out yonder, like yearning for something else. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel that uh, this person may be uh, done with the connection. They may be wanting to like sabotage the connection or just like really get nasty or say something nasty or be a butthead, but they're holding back from doing so. I don't know why, but on the inside, they just want it. They're ready to lash out. If we're dealing with a an Aries, um, if we're dealing with an Aries, uh, be careful because I feel like this person is a smooth talker. Um, there's a lot of competition here. A bit, they, they just flirt with a lot of people and it causes a lot of drama. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, if we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like this person is just like more like for a booty call type of thing. Like this person's not really in it to commit. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 10th, 2020. So my loves, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. The details are in the description box below. So we have sunglasses here. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So Capricorn, either you're stalking somebody or someone here is stalking you. Okay, someone here is definitely uh, watching the other person. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Capricorn? Corn's true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So I feel like what's happening here is there's two people that really, really love each other. But at the same time, they kind of have this energy of ego where like, you know, oh, because I, I respect myself too much to give in. And the other person's like, oh, I respect myself too much to give in. So there's real love here. And you guys are watching each other, but you're not communicating. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here? for um what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my capricorns please september 10th so we have the eight of pentacles the six of cups 
So someone here is studying, looking into the past. Someone here is looking into information, like did this person get married? What are they doing? Someone here is really like investigating or spying on an ex. We have the Ten of Wands and the world yeah i feel like somebody here is tired someone here is ready to give up on something um maybe we're in a, a current connection and there's a lot of disrespect for happening here but somebody here is ready to drop something and walk away close the door on something um the hanged man piscean energy and the outcome and the nine of swords i feel that somebody here has been waiting a long time and they're just they've been full of anxiety not doing well you know what i'm saying someone here has constantly yearned to move towards somebody i think so it's kind of like someone here has just been stuck on an x for a long time and and they're just ready to drop everything and just move towards this x they've been waiting for too long and i feel like somebody here is really ready to take that leap and and move towards somebody Spirit, what clarity and guidance love messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please? All 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like um, somebody here wants to apologize. They don't want to let the other person go. They don't want to lose this connection. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like um, you guys are both working on this connection. You guys want the commitment here. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, if we're dealing with the Pisces, I feel like someone here may be very controlling and uh, selfish, like everything has to be their way. So that could be you, Pisces. That could be your person. Um, um, if we're dealing with a Virgo, um, if we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like somebody here wants to work on something, wants to fix something, but they don't know how, okay? If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, such as yourself, I feel that there's a sense of just peace and relaxation, like everything is going smoothly, you know what I'm saying? You guys are committed, loyal, and it's just a very sense of a peaceful, relaxed type of energy. If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, you may get pregnant quickly by this person, um, or this person may be a fast talker because they're committed, they're in a relationship, or you may find that the connection with this person leads quickly to relationship, like it moves quickly to higher waters. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, I feel like this person is emotionally manipulative, so be careful. If you're dealing with a, a Gemini, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like this person may start to become very defensive because there's a third party in the picture. If you're dealing with a Libra, um, if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like this connection is over. Maybe you're divorced from this person, but it's over and you guys are both like holding back and not move, coming forward. You guys are both pulling away from this. Um, if you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like someone's going to start to see the truth of the matter, that the feelings are not reciprocated. Someone here is emotionally disconnected. If we're dealing with an Aries, um, if we're dealing with an Aries, there's a lot of love here. There's also a lot of pain. And I feel like nobody's communicating about either one. Okay. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, if we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like somebody here, um, I feel like somebody's actually looking for apartments or looking to move closer to the other person. That may resonate for some of you. Um, for others of you, someone here may re uh, find out something about the person wanting to leave or wanting to move or not coming back. Okay? I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to your daily love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so my loves, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. Um, the details are in the description box below. Spirit, what messages do we have today for my Taurus, please? September 10th, please, Spirit. We've got girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So Taurus, either you're moving on from somebody um, or somebody's moving on from you. No, I, I feel that honestly here, Taurus, you are moving on. I feel like you're dating somebody here, and there's a lot of stability, security, growth with a new person here. So you are just living in the moment, having fun. Um, maybe you and this person have become friends, and now it's moving into a deeper yeah see you're releasing the past the time has come to clear your energy um you're releasing something here and moving on we've got love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i feel like you're 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 just 
yeah, you're moving on. Um, I feel that maybe you've been a little stuck on the past here, okay? Um, just maybe a little, not that maybe you wanted to go back, but just a little stuck on how this person hurts you possibly. Um, but I feel like with keep an open mind, your soul may differ from your usual types and expectations. I feel like you're going to meet someone new and it's just going to be very, maybe this person looks different than what you're used to, okay? Um, but you're going to, there's going to be a lot of stability there. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Taurus, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, and the Tower, okay? Aries, Scorpionic energy. Um, so guys, I feel like maybe somebody may be finding out that the other person is pregnant or got pregnant. That's just for some of you, or somebody here may be finding out that somebody is in a relationship. We've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the Six of Pentacles. So someone, there's communication coming in, I feel, through the grapevine. Like somebody here is hearing gossip from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because you see how there's three people there? So one person heard the information. They're telling the other person that told the other person. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like news has traveled here um, about somebody being in another relationship. We've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy, and we've got the Judgment card um Sagittarian energy so I feel that that kind of sealed the deal here Taurus okay so I feel that that sealed the deal what happened was here yeah yeah somebody here messed up somebody here I feel uh maybe got pregnant or got themselves into a relationship very quickly and it's very shocking someone's going to find out some shocking suit news but with the judgment card i feel like that seals the deal okay it seals it the f decision made we're done you know what i'm saying um and that's it so sorry guys holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my Taurus, please, all 12 signs, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please, all 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like there is a lot of love here. Um, somebody knows that they've met the one. They may not be putting their heart on their sleeve just yet, but someone knows that this is it. This is the one. There's a lot of stability here. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, um, I feel like this person is very successful uh, financially and in every other aspect in life, maybe. And this person just wants to be single. They don't need to be in a relationship for anything. So please keep that in mind. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel that um, with the page of wands and the empress, again, there may be communication that somebody here is pregnant. You may be dealing with a single parent, or there could just be a lot of communication about, um, you know, uh, how beautiful somebody is or how handsome somebody is or how much uh, goals you have for the future or about, you know, moving into deeper waters, you know what I'm saying? Getting married goals for the future. If we're dealing with a Virgo, um, if we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like, um, Honestly, I feel like once you sleep with this person, once you have sex with this person, that's when things really start to take off in this connection. Um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person has a lot of hope for this connection. They're going to put a lot of work into it. If you're dealing with a Taurus such as yourself, um, I feel like... I feel like one person wants to move very quick and impulsively and the other person wants to move slow. So it's causing a little bit of an imbalance. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone here is going to hold back because they're feeling alone or that their time is being wasted here. If we're dealing with an, uh, a Gemini, excuse me, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like um, somebody here is a smooth talker. Somebody here shows a lot of romance, a lot of love. They really know how to talk, but they're also juggling someone else or maybe they're just un sure about what they really want but what they're showing is something different if we're dealing with a libra i feel that um I feel that somebody just wants to win here. Somebody here in arguments, maybe they just want to win at all costs and they may be very sharp with their mouths, Taurus. Um, or it could be that, you know, somebody here just sees very clearly that you are the one or you see very clearly that they are the one and it, the connection moves very quickly. If you're dealing with a Leo, I see a fight breaking out today. Um, it's, you know, you guys just, uh, maybe somebody wants to sabotage the connection here. Things may be said that can't come back together again. If you're dealing with an Aries, someone's going to 
going to break the other person's heart and they're going to go. So that's not going well. And if we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like somebody really wants to come in to apologize. Like really, they want to apologize for something. Okay. Um, I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So my loves, uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. The details are in the description box below, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aquarius, September 10th? We've got lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So Aquarius, something may uh, change very quickly today. You may get some sudden news or something something that's going to happen very quick and suddenly today tower moment spirit what messages do we have here for my aquarius keep an open mind your soul make me differ from your usual type and expectations and flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others so you may meet someone today aquarius at a flip and nowhere okay at a flip and nowhere and uh you guys start flirting and all of a sudden you know what i'm saying you're you're you know things may you may fall in love or start crushing on somebody um but the worrisome part here is that there's three people in this picture so aquarius some of you may be in a relationship um or this person may be in a relationship i feel like you're just going to meet someone today that you're very attracted to or you know what i'm saying that you know you're going to start crushing on or they're going to start crushing on you okay spirit what messages do we have for my aquarius we've got the justice card libra energy the three of pentacles the three of cups the nine of swords the page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy and the strength card leo energy so guys i feel that um four of wands five of cups yes yeah, someone here is feeling guilty because they're in a relationship someone here feels guilty because they're in a relationship so what's happening here is with the justice card and the three of pentacles someone here is really trying to do the right thing they're trying to be solid they're really really trying to do the right thing this may be happening in the workplace um but i feel that with the page of swords and the strength card uh you guys can't you guys feel the chemistry and the passion that you have towards each other even though you're trying to hold back with the nine of swords and the three of cups it's like you guys are dying to come together like you can't stop thinking about each other you can't stop thinking about you know what i'm saying um you know this may end up becoming a third party situation you know you can't stop thinking about each other spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my aquarians please all 12 signs yeah it's it's like a, a little bit of a sexual infatuation here with that strength card i feel a lot of passion Okay, if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like somebody here needs to heal because they were hurt very deeply. If we're dealing with a Scorpio here, somebody here may be finding out that they've, they're being juggled. If we're dealing with a Pisces here, uh, Aquarius, I feel like this is definitely moving into deeper waters. We're going to move into more commitment. If we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like you guys are going to work together and invest and it's going to pay off big time with that 10 of pentacles. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like there's going to be communication about moving forward, setting future goals. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, I feel like one person is tired of giving more than the other. Like it's becoming overwhelming. Like one person maybe is carrying this connection by themselves and it's becoming tiring if you're dealing with an aquarius such as yourself um i feel like for some reason there's love here there's a soul tie but it's also very scary and a lot of anxiety so maybe someone here has a fear of commitment but they can't help it they're falling in love if we're dealing with a gemini i feel like someone here is going to sabotage the connection there's going to be a nasty fight something may be said that is just it won't come back together again if you're dealing with a libra someone here is guarding a secret or holding on to a secret um, or not telling you something if we're dealing with a leo i feel like 
I feel like someone here is very um, egoistic, like they have a huge ego, but they're waiting to let that side of them out. So just be careful because this person has like an alter ego. Um, if we're dealing with an Aries, um, if we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person is um, claiming to be committed to you, but emotionally they're not feeling it. So maybe they're just in it for the money. Maybe someone here is an, a gold digger because King of Pentacles is someone who has a lot of money and the Eight of Cups is emotionally disconnected, you know, so I feel like maybe you might be dealing with a gold digger here, Aries. Um, uh, excuse me, not Aries, uh, a gold digger here, Aquarius, okay? If you're dealing with a Sag, I feel like this person, someone here does have love, they're just not showing it, they're holding it to themselves, okay? I love you, bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 10th. So, my loves, um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. The information is in the description box below. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Geminis, please? September 10th. So, we've got cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So, Gemini, um, maybe there's something that you can't stop thinking about, okay? And it's funny because we've got have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. This popped out before, and then we've got passion, relationship evolving to the next phase stalking and wedding rings okay so here's what i'm feeling uh, gemini i feel like something ended i feel like something ended and maybe you just can't get over that this person hurt you in this way or you just can't get over what happened so you keep thinking about it right but spirit is telling you to have faith love is coming you've got a lot of passion coming you've got a relationship that's going to move to the next phase and you're going to have um somebody here this person that hurts you this person that hurts you taurus okay they're going to be watching you end things with them and move towards a relationship that may turn into marriage okay there's going to be a lot of happiness stability there okay so gemini don't worry if somebody hurts you don't don't replay it over and over in your head just look forward because the best revenge is moving on okay yep we have a soulmate coming in yes this is your soulmate And we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, um, so Gemini, if somebody really hurts you, if somebody really, really hurts you, uh, just get ready because you've got wedding again. You're going to be working on a situation here on, on something new that's going to lead to marriage. And this person could sit back and watch you move on and be happy. And that's it. Spirit, tell me about my Geminis, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages about my Geminis. September 10th, please, Holy Spirit. September 10th, please, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. We have the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Wands. We've got the Four of Swords. And the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this goes here. We've got the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, so guys, what I'm feeling here is we have somebody that wants to come in and communicate, okay? Someone maybe is trying to seduce their way in, um, or this could be the new person here. Gemini, maybe you're blocking somebody and really shutting somebody out because you started talking to somebody new. That's what I'm getting here. Now, what we have here is with the Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, someone is trying to come in asking, hey, listen, have you healed yet? Do you think we can make this work or whatever? But I feel like this person here is not going to get an answer. This may be the ex. Um, this person is not going to get an answer, I'm not feeling, because you're blocking this person out with the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. This person is going to regret doing what they did to you, saying, what they said to you but yeah someone that this ex or whoever this past person is they're going to live in regret for hurting you the way they did gemini but i feel like you're moving on to something new here 
Yeah, I feel like you're going to, yeah, look, see, you're putting in, you're investing in a connection here. You're investing in a connection here that with the Hierophant, you've got the, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Hierophant. You're actually going to move forward and start working on a connection that you've been yearning for, something that's stable, something that's solid, a very deep soul tie. And with that Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands, karma is on your side. Someone here was a player. Someone here was putting you in competition with other people, and uh, I feel like there's the ten of swords there it is over with that person it is over with that person and they're going to face their karma is on your side here gemini okay holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my gemini's please all 12 signs clarity guidance and love messages for my gemini's please all 12 signs please so if we're dealing with a cancer if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like um, you guys may separate because of lack of trust. There's no trust here. There's no love anymore. It's gone cold. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like the relationship has become too stagnant and it's just going to end up ending. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone is going to regret being undecided or juggling you. If we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like there's going to be communication today. Either someone is going to become a father or a mother. There may be uh, communication that somebody is pregnant or getting pregnant or you may be dealing with a single parent or there just may be a conversation about um you know setting goals moving things to deeper waters getting married very committed stable type of energy if we're dealing with a capricorn um if we're dealing with a capricorn i feel like someone here is about to ghost the other person um or maybe someone has fear of abandonment issues and they're a little clingy okay not gonna lie if we're dealing with a taurus um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel that once you sleep with this person and once you have sex or maybe from the minute you start talking to them, things move forward very quickly. OK, if we're dealing with an Aquarius. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like somebody here feels trapped. There's just too much stability. Um too much too much stability too much of the same routine and aquarius doesn't really like that they like to be spontaneous um they're feeling trapped if we're dealing with a Gemini such as yourself, I feel like the connection works. It's manifesting. It's moving forward. It's just moving forward very slowly. So have patience, Gemini. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, if we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like somebody here may be pulling back and becoming very stingy with their money, or maybe they're tired of if like one person is supporting the other financially, they're getting sick of it. Or somebody may be getting kicked out of their house. Um, if we're dealing with a Leo, uh, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like somebody is rushing in, wanting to apologize, wanting to bring this back together. If we're dealing with an Aries, the relationship is over because this person is either confused or has too many options. And if we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like somebody here still has feelings and passion for their ex or maybe cheating with their ex. All right, guys, I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 10th, 2020. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Libras, please? So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do a, a huge giveaway every week. The details are in the description box below. Messages for my Libras, please. September 10th, please, Spirit. So we've got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. Okay. All right, my loves. So somebody here may take that risk and actually express their love and really open up to the other person. There's a lot of joy here, Libra. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of passion. We've got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And we have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So Libra, I feel like you're coming to a place where you're forgiving the people that have hurt you, learning from those experiences, releasing and really coming into a place of a lot of joy. You're with someone who brings you a lot of happiness. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Libras, please? September 10th, please, Spirit. So we have the Four of Cups. 
the sun, Leo energy. So someone here is coming to the realization that it's time to let something go, leave it alone, reject it, push it away. Nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy, and the tower, Aries scorpionic energy. I feel like Libra, out of nowhere, you ended up meeting like someone who's a pre-empress. Like as soon as you became single, um, it, it just like struck, like you end up meeting this amazing person, Hierophant, Taurus energy, and uh, the chariot, Cancer energy as soon as you release um whatever this was in the past here um yeah as soon as you release whatever happened in the past here libra i feel like you just you meet someone just out of nowhere you know what i'm saying and this person may be very good looking very financially stable abundant independent um you know just your type in every way and i feel like when you meet it's just like a powerhouse like bam it just moves very quickly into a committed relationship this may very well be the person that you marry guys spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my uh, Libras, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Libras, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel that uh, somebody here may pop the question out of nowhere, do you want to marry me? Okay. Um, or it could be a marriage falling apart out of nowhere because it's not building up, built on a solid foundation. But I got to be honest, I feel more that it's a proposal of marriage. Um, if we are dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like this is very sexual super sexual okay i mean passion is running high <laughs> if we're dealing with a pisces um if we're dealing with a pisces i feel like this person for whatever reason is offering commitment libra but at the same time there's no emotion so just be careful that this person isn't in it for the wrong reasons like money for instance um if we're dealing with a virgo i feel like the connection has either you're in a, a long-term relationship and is becoming a challenge to overcome these obstacles or you guys are starting to distance yourselves because the connection has too many obstacles to overcome if you're dealing with a capricorn if you're dealing with a capricorn there's just not enough emotion in this connection to keep you satisfied and it's becoming very it's giving you a lot of anxiety it's just really keeping you up at night if we're dealing with a taurus if we're dealing with a taurus i feel like um communication between you guys may start to get very heated and defensive for some reason if if you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, I feel like this person has very strong feelings for you. They haven't been showing it by little by little. They're going to start to speak their truth. If we're dealing with a Gemini, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like this person may be a little manipulative. They're taking a lot of love, but not really giving much in return. Okay. Um, you may end up feeling very lonely or rejected in the connection. If you're dealing with a Libra such as yourself, um, this person may withdraw because they're just, they may sabotage the connection and withdraw or you may want to withdraw from this connection because you may catch on that they're playing mind games okay if we're dealing with a leo oof, if we're dealing with a leo this person is falling in love you're falling in love there's a lot of mushy gushy gooiness happening here um if we're dealing with an aries if we're dealing with an aries uh this person be careful they may be a karmic or this person may be into revenge cheating is what i'm getting so be careful if we're dealing with a sag um if we're dealing with a sag i feel like this person may be a little like uh reserved or withdrawn from you because they're a little guarded right now okay i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for leo sun moon rising and venus signs for september 10th so my loves don't forget to like share comment subscribe i do a huge giveaway every single um week so be sure to like share comment subscribe the details are in the description box below spirit what messages do we have for my leos please we have love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know Okay, let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my, too many cards, for my Leos, please, September 10th. We've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. 
So I feel here, Leo, because we've got three people in this connection here, um, in this picture here. So I feel that maybe uh, you're freeing yourself from one connection and opening up, or maybe you're either going to let go and let love in, or you're freeing yourself from one situation and um, falling in love with someone else. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Seven of Cups wanted to come out. Seven of Cups. And the King of Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Leo, I feel like you were in a connection where you never knew how somebody felt about you or if they wanted someone else. Like, you were just always confused in this connection. We've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian, Energy, and the Two of Cups. I feel like, you, so in one situation here, you were very confused not knowing how you felt. They felt about you. And in this connection, we've got somebody that puts you on a pedestal that's falling in love with you. The outcome here is the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles virgo energy pre-empress energy um see i love how you're pre-empress and then you go from an empress here so yeah i feel like you had one situation here where um you know, you just never knew. You never knew if this person loved you. You never knew what was going on. And now out of nowhere, like a tower, like suddenly you end up meeting someone that just really puts you on a pedestal that showers you with love, a very strong soul tie connection here with the 10 of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. You're good. You're independent. You're pre-empress. And this person is that one additional pentacle that you need to bring it to like absolute abundance. Okay. You go from nine of pentacles, pre-empress to empress with this person. Um, and it happens very quickly. So we have a very very beautiful connection coming in here spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my leos please clarity guidance and love messages for my leos all 12 signs so if we're dealing with a cancer um if we're dealing with a cancer i feel like um I hate to say it, Leo, but I'm just going to say it. The way to heal with a cancer is through sex, okay? Um, this person needs to know that you find them attractive. This person needs that 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 healing through physical touch, through uh, feeling loved, and I feel like it's sexually, okay? If you are dealing with a... Scorpio, I feel like this person wants to wait before they give any type of commitment. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like this person um, may come off as very romantic. They may come off as a smooth talker, but on the inside, they think more with their head than their heart. Okay, so just be careful. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, um, I feel like this person is still very much stuck on their past, especially if they've got a baby mommy or a baby daddy. So be careful with that. If you're dealing with, um, or this person can be very attached to their mother. Uh, if we're dealing with uh, a Capricorn, I feel like this is a beautiful soulmate connection. Definitely a very solid, solid grounded connection. If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, I feel like if you're dealing with a Taurus, this person is crazy confident wanting to move forward in this connection. They want to leave any toxicity behind and they want to move forward. Okay. Um, if we're dealing with an Aquarius, if we're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like this person is going to try to put the work in to do the right thing. So, you know, that's good. If we're dealing with a Gemini, um, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like this person tells you often, or maybe you guys realize it about each other, that you're divinely guided soulmates or that you're very lucky to have found each other. If you're dealing with a Libra, um, someone here is going to withdraw because there's just too much drama, competition, strife, headaches. Someone just doesn't want to deal with it. If we're dealing with a Leo such as yourself, I feel like you guys are very uh, impatient and passionate about moving forward in the connection. If you're dealing with an Aries, um, Someone may propose marriage today. You guys may buy a house or move in together. There's definitely a new beginning um, instability. You guys may be getting married. Very strong, stable, grounded connection with an Aries. If we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like somebody here is in their ego and they're being very uh, cold or guarded because they're in their ego. They want to win. Okay, so like if you're at a standoff with this person, they're not going to bow down first. I love you guys. Bye. 
Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 10th. So my loves, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every single week. Um, I do a huge giveaway every single week. Um, the details are in the description box below. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Aries, please? We've got not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, jealousy. So someone here feels like they're not receiving enough in this connection. And because of this, it causes them to, to live in fear, to live in jealousy. Um, it causes them to chase. This is definitely a karmic. The, this could definitely be a karmic issue here that we're dealing with. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Aries, please? We've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have keep an open mind. Your soul make me differ from your usual type and expectations. This person cheats. <laughs> That's what this person does. Um, yeah, I feel like you need to decide as soon as possible. Decide very clearly what you want so it comes to you now. See the red flags. It's time to release this person. It's time to release them because this person um, is all over the place. And when someone is all over the place, they cannot keep their attention on just you. Okay? Um, Spirit is saying that your soulmate may be, you know, someone different than what you expect it to be because you feel that soul tie connection with this person problem is is that it's karmic you understand what i'm saying and since there's such strong feelings there people tend to um think wow i feel so strongly about this person there's got to be something more to it there is they're a karmic and there's a lesson that needs to be learned here and in this case i think it's you know learn to love yourself and see that you know you're worth more than this spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my aries Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Wands. And the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So listen, Leo, here's the deal. You are the one that comes out on top here, okay? Because you are worth so much more than this. You are, um, you know, you're the one who's blessed. You're the one. Karma is going on your side here. This person has a lot of trouble with commitment. This person cannot commit. We've got the Seven of Cups. This person is confused. They have a lot of options. Um, and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Maybe this person talks to people online. Uh, maybe they're even honest about it listen i don't know how to how i feel right now blah 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 blah. you know what i'm saying they may even you know give you that storyline but this person commitment for them it's like overwhelming it's like they do not want to deal with any type of commitment here i feel that with the queen of wands and the wheel of fortune that's you aries i feel that luck is on your side karma is on your side i feel like you are going to meet a soulmate you're going to see the truth for what it is this person is confused they feed you a crock of bull crap and you know they, they they're keeping their options wide open okay stop chasing it spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my aries please all 12 signs please spirit so if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like either somebody may get pregnant quickly, okay, um, or this may move quickly into deeper waters, or so there may be a lot of communication about building a life together. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, someone here is tired. The connection has a lot of challenges, a lot of problems, and you guys are tired of trying to work it out. If you're dealing with a Pisces, it's over. Someone's cheating or someone's lying. If we're dealing with a Virgo. Um, if we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like you guys may find that there's a very strong soul tie here. It's like love at first sight. Um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like this person still has financial ties to their ex. Um, or maybe this person is their heart is still in the past with their ex, especially if they were married or they have a family with them. If you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like a fight may break out. You guys are going to withdraw, uh, say some really nasty things to each other. Someone's going to sabotage the connection. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like someone's really hoping to build a solid foundation here. They really hope this moves forward. If we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like you guys are needing to heal in this connection because you guys have become very defensive with each other. If you're dealing with a uh, Libra, I feel like you guys are falling in love very quickly. There's a lot of passion and a lot of love. If you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like um, this person, if you're not with 
with them or if you live at a distance from them, uh, they are really yearning to work on this connection with you. If you're dealing with an Aries such as yourself, you're realizing that it's over here, that there's blockages. If you're dealing with a Sag, uh, if you're dealing with a Sag, I feel that this is moving into deeper waters, the Hierophant here. I feel like, you know, um, if you were having, uh, if you were on rocky grounds with a Sag, that's going to end, it, that cycle's going to close and it's going to move to a very deep level of commitment. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 10th, 2020. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Sag? So we've got love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I like it. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, love messages for my Sagittarius, please? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is beautiful, Sag. I love it. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Sagittarius, please? September 10th, 2020. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy, and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. Uh, we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian Energy, and the Four of Pentacles, okay? We have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So here's the deal, Sag. This is, this is what you have done, let me tell you. Um, you know your worth. Okay, you know your worth. And with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, not only do you know your worth, but you're protecting your worth. You make people have to earn your trust and your heart, okay? So what this person is doing, because they don't want to lose you, they are putting you on the pedestal of all pedestals. The more you hold back something from somebody, the more they want it, obviously, right? So now this person doesn't want to let you go. They want to take you from pre-Empress to Empress, okay? Eight of Swords and the, eight, the, the Knight of Cups, this person cannot get you out of their head. They just want to shower you with love, attention, affection. Um, it's really beautiful because this is the that beautiful game of cat and mouse of courtship, wanting to win someone's love. It's beautiful. I like it. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Sag, all 12 signs? So if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like someone's honest if they come in wanting uh, uh, an, an olive branch. If someone wants to make peace and say give an apology, they're being honest. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, um, I feel like this person, not only do they give very little, but they take a long time to even give that little bit that they're giving. If we're dealing with a Pisces. I feel like you guys are going to hold back from each other and move on. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like um, this is more about the sex. There's no commitment here. Someone wants to be on their own. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, this is quickly moving to a higher level of commitment. You guys may move in together, buy a house together, get married. It's going to move very quickly. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like this person um, says a lot of things, but with the devil card, they are toxic as shit like they may they may speak real pretty but they're toxic on the inside if we're dealing with an Aquarius I feel like this is somebody that has always two people like they have their main wifey hubby and then they got the side piece that's that's how this person operates if we're dealing with um a Gemini, if we're dealing with a Gemini Sag, I feel that uh, there's a very strong family type of energy here. You guys may be having a baby or you guys may be very committed and talking about having a family, a very strong energy of commitment. If you're dealing with a Libra, um, if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like there's a constant battle of the wills here. Like, like, like one person always wants to dominate the other and there's a lot of drama about that. If we're dealing with a... Um, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like somebody is tired of working on this connection. If we're dealing with an Aries, uh, somebody here is... Um 
I feel like somebody here is trying to refrain from cheating. Like maybe somebody here has a history of doing that, but somebody here is trying to hold back. They don't want to cheat. They don't want to lie. They're trying to be good. Okay. Uh, if we're dealing with a Sag such as yourself, I feel like, um, I feel like as much as somebody wants to just take that leap of faith and make an impulsive decision to move forward, somebody here is trying to think with their head, not their heart. They're trying to guard themselves. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.